Using superposition, let's find VO in the circuit below. The superposition principle tells you that in a linear system like the circuit shown, you can consider the effect of each independent source separately. When you want to deactivate a current source, you replace it with an open circuit. When you want to deactivate a voltage source, you replace it with a short circuit. With this in mind, let's use superposition to analyze this circuit. First of all, these two resistors are in parallel, and 150 in parallel with 75 gives 50 ohms. So let's consider this simplified circuit as it would be easier to work with. Let's consider the voltage source alone by replacing the current source with an open circuit, like this. VO is no longer VO because now this is only one part of the solution, so let's call it VO1. But the circuit is now very easy to analyze. You can think of it as a voltage source in series with two resistors. Just rotate it 90 degrees and verify that this is exactly the same setup. VO1 in this case, will be 12.5 volts because the voltage source splits the potential evenly between the two 50 ohm resistors. So that's VO in the first case, VO1. Okay, going back to the original circuit, let's now consider the current source separately. So let's deactivate the voltage source by shorting it. The circuit becomes like this. Now, this is also very easy to analyze. It's a typical case of current division. You can find VO2 by whichever method you prefer. For example, you can multiply the current through this 50 ohm resistor, which is negative one, by the resistance, which is 50. And the result will be negative 50 volts. So VO with the voltage source only is 12.5 volts. And VO with the current source only is negative 50 volts. So overall, the VO in the original circuit is the sum of these two voltages taking into account the polarity. And we've already done that by making sure the second voltage is negative and just keeping track of the plus minus polarity in each case. So all we have to do now is add 12.5 to negative 50 and the result will be negative 37.5 volts. And this is exactly the same result we obtained using the node voltage method to analyze the same circuit.